You can use the frame text tool to create text frames on your page and subsequently populate those text frames with frame text by typing, pasting, uh, insertion. So um, the difference between frame text and artistic text is that frame text is reflowable and that means it will flow as you change the size and the dimensions of the text frame itself. So we compare that to the artistic text tool which is more for um, ornate um, titling and headlining and that just scales only rather than reflows. So let's just take a look. So we can enable the frame text tool from the toolbar at the left and we can find the option there, frame text tool. So once we've enabled that, we want to add the frame text within this area here. But because we have two fixed uh, guidelines there, I want to enable snapping, which will allow me to snap precisely the text frame within those guides. So you can see the red and the green coloration, which indicates it's snapping in both horizontal and vertical. And then I drag down to the opposite corner, and we've got a perfectly sized text frame there. So we can add text to the text frame by simply typing. So you can copy and paste, and that would be Command C for copy and Command V to paste. That would be Control C on Control V for Windows. And we can repeatedly paste text in. So if I just select all of this, I'll just delete that, we'll show you another way of inserting text, and that is uh, from a file. And we can do Insert Text from File. And we can select an existing text document uh, easily and click OK. And there's a text just dropping into the text frame. Another way of adding text to the text frame is to insert fuller text if you don't have any copy to hand at present. Now this inserts text which is not immediately editable. Um, it's, instead, it flows to the extents of the text frame. But we can make it editable and make it behave as plain text by just right-clicking on there and uh, selecting Expand Field. And now we can have a look at how we can select text within the text frame. So double-click is for uh, a single word. If you hold down the Command key or Control key on Windows, you can select words uh, selectively throughout the paragraph, perhaps if you want to apply character formatting, just do that. And you'll also be able to select entire lines with a triple click and whole paragraphs with, with a quadruple click. Now, if you want the whole of the text frame uh, selected, all of the text within it, you can do a, a quintuple click, which is a five click. So that's all. Now, I'll just select this paragraph to, for a start and I'll apply some formatting to this. So I can. As you'd expect, I can change the font. I will change that to Palatino. I can change it to, to be bold or italic or regular, depending on the font that you've got available. And I can change the font size. I can also align it to center. I can align it to right. And I can justify the text too. So you may have noticed that while I was doing some text formatting that this text has continued below the text frame. So if I just double click on this bottom edge handle, you'll find that the text frame will change and then will encompass the text itself. There are also other ways of handling the text within the text frame. I can actually reflow by using this option here. And you can see there, if I change the width of the text, it will reflow the text within the text frame container. Now you also see at the very bottom right hand corner this other button. Instead of the reflow, this is a scale button and I can just scale all of the text all in one go and then potentially just align that within the text frame. But with that I think it's fine.